All right, yo, what is going on, everyone? You guys got the bar kage of the Hidden Gains Village here today. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite calisthenics exercises. Please keep in mind that with any top 10 list, this is completely my opinion. I am by no means saying that these are the 10 best exercises. So if I leave out one of your favorite movements, definitely let me know down below in the comments so we can have a nice discussion after the video. And with that, guys, let's get right into the list. Okay, so kicking off the list at number 10, we have the pistol squat. The pistol squat is a staple in my leg routine as it's very, very good for strengthening your legs and it also challenges your balance and core stability, which can be translated to a lot of other calisthenics moves. All right, so claiming the number nine spot is the impossible to. Now, the reason why I love this move is not because I train it a lot, but because it is just so simple looking, but so challenging at the same time. For example, if your average gym goer were to see the impossible dip, I feel like they'd be like, yeah, man, I can do it. And then they would try it and they'd realize that they can't even lower down. And while I'm not much of a freestyler myself, a lot of freestyle calisthenics athletes will use the impossible dip to clean up their transition and make their combos look a lot smoother. All right, so sliding into the number eight spot is my favorite dip variation, the straight bar dip. Now I'm gonna keep it nice and simple with this one. I really like this move because I always get the best chest and tricep pump from it. And it can also really help strengthen your muscle ups. All right, so coming in at number seven, we have the handstand push-up. Now, yes, this is a fantastic shoulder exercise and just a great push movement in general, but that's not why I love the move. The reason why I absolutely love the handstand push-up and handstands in general is just because it's fun. I remember the days first training for handstand, constantly jumping up, you know, trying to beat my time, hold it, and yeah, it really didn't even feel like I was working out at all. It just felt like I was doing what I wanted to do at the time, and I eventually, of course, did work my way up to the point where I could do handstand push-ups, and since then, the handstand push-ups has been a staple in all of my push routines. All right, so coming in at number six, we have the one-arm pull-up. Now, the reason why I love this move, it just, it looks superhuman. Think about it, guys. There are some people that can't even do a two-arm pull-up. So the fact that, you know, there are people that can do it with one arm for multiple reps is insane for me. And it was really, really challenging training for it. So I feel like once I eventually got it, I started really, really liking it and eventually made it a central uh, aspect of my routine. All right, people, so we have now made it to the top five, and kicking things off at number five, we have the back lever. I really, really like the back lever, and I'm not saying it's easy by any means, but it is definitely the easiest of the statics to learn, and I think that's a great thing, because, you know, you have somebody who is maybe just starting out with calisthenics, they've been training for a few months, and then they finally get their back lever, and they love the feeling, and they want to chase that feeling and start learning harder moves, such as the planche, maybe. Now, speaking of planche, the back lever is actually a great way to build up strength for the planche, and it's also a great way to train muscles of the posterior chain that can sometimes get neglected with calisthenics training. All right, so coming in at number four, we have the muscle up. Yes, that's right. The muscle up is the quintessential calisthenics move. If you go up to anybody and you tell them that you do calisthenics, they are immediately going to ask you, can you muscle up? After you say yes, they're going to be like, bro, show me, how do you muscle up? And it's just such an amazing move. Me and my buddy always love to start with muscle ups because it's just a great way to get hyped up for a workout. And we use that momentum to then carry us through the rest of the workout. I absolutely love this move. All right, claiming the number three spot, we have the front lever. Now, I do want to clarify, first of all, that the gap between the top three exercises and number four is huge. And so the front lever, yeah, it's, it's the move that got me into calisthenics. It will always have a special place in my heart. It's a very great uh, pulling movement and very good for your core as well. And it's definitely my strongest skill, I would say. And it's definitely the skill that I get the most compliments on. And it was definitely my favorite move until the other two passed it recently. All right, taking the number two spot, we have the Hefesto. That's right. Now, this is a move that I started training at the very beginning of the year, and I've put in a lot of hard work to learn this move, and I feel like that is why I've come to love it, you know? Just because it was so difficult, so frustrating, so challenging, just everything did not seem right with it, but then when I finally did it, you know, it was 
such an amazing feeling when I first did the Efesto. And since then, I've been training it, constantly getting better at it. And I really feel like my progress is starting to take off with the move. So while my Efesto is by no means perfect, I still really, really enjoy the move because it just it signify it just symbolizes all my hard work, honestly. And I love I, I love it for that. All right, and holding down the fort at number one, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this coming. We have the planche. <laughs> now, this kind of goes back to what I was saying about the Efesto. The amount of hard work that, and dedication that you put into the move is going to affect how much you end up liking it. And I really feel like that is, for me, the planche. The planche is by far the move that I've spent the most time on to get down and where I am now with the planche, I'm not exactly happy with it. You know, I obviously could get better, but I definitely would say I'm pretty good at it and a lot better at it than I ever thought I would be. When I, when I was starting training for the planche, my goal was just to hold it, you know, for like three seconds. I never thought that I would really be doing, you know, push-ups, pressing, and just all the crazy stuff that I'm actually doing now and working on. So for that, I love the planche. All right, everybody, so thank you for checking out today's video. It was a lot of fun to make. Like I said, definitely leave a comment down below telling me your favorite exercise. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate that. Have a good one, everybody, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.